everyone. This is Trevor Gould of My Glendale City News, bringing you the Jewel City's latest news, events, and information. Stay connected by visiting myglendalecitynews.com for regular updates. On the morning of January 24th, a 20-year-old male resident named Brandon went missing. Brandon is autistic and deaf, so the Glendale Police Department classified it as a critical missing persons case. Eight hours later, Brandon was found by a GPD chopper in the riverbed next to ABC Studios. This image depicts Officer Aaron Kim escorting Brandon out of the wash and to safety. Glendale Police were able to locate Brandon thanks to our partnership with Project Lifesaver. For more on this vital program, here's Glendale Police Chief Rob Castro. The Glendale Police Department has partnered with Project Lifesaver to provide assistance in tracking at-risk individuals who suffer from mental impairments such as Alzheimer's, Down syndrome, or autism. Clients in this program are provided with a personalized wrist or ankle band that is marked by the Glendale Police Department. These bands contain battery-operated transmitters that are designed to emit a frequency that can be tracked up to a one-mile radius by the patrol officers. Brandon is now safe, and Project Lifesaver played a key role in our efforts to locate him. Utilized by over 1,600 agencies, Project Lifesaver has performed over 3,000 searches in the last 15 years with no serious injuries. We are proud to be partnered with them to ensure the safety and health of at-risk individuals in our community. In another success story from our police department, recently Glendale Police solved a cold case from 1993 involving the murder of a Glendale resident. In 2015, a detective reopened the case and submitted DNA evidence originally collected from the crime scene. Our very own Verdugo Regional Crime Lab processed the DNA and linked it to 46-year-old Philip Arnez Atres, an upstanding citizen who was already serving time in L.A. County for a completely unrelated crime. The DNA match was confirmed. On January 20, 2017, Philip Arnez Atres completed his L.A. County jail term and walked to freedom. And right at the gate, Glendale police were waiting to take him into custody again. Recently, our work boot meeting series received recognition from a relatively unknown East Coast University. I'm trying to remember its name. Mm, oh yeah, it's Harvard. Our work boot Tuesday council meetings began in 2015 to allow city council and members of the public the opportunity to interact firsthand with various city services and operations. The work boot meetings were named a semi-finalist for this year's Innovation in American Government Awards. The competition is hosted by Harvard University's prestigious John F. Kennedy School of Government, specifically the Ash Center for Democratic Governance and Innovation. Evaluators are looking for effective initiatives that made a real impact and advanced Work Boot Tuesday forward from a pool of more than 500 applicants. In the coming days, we'll learn if we are named a finalist for this honor. Stay tuned. Now, I want to uh, finish up with a few quick items. We've been telling you about our incoming railroad quiet zone and are pleased to announce it formally went into effect on January 28th. The quiet zone includes the crossings at Flower Street, Grandview Avenue, and Sonora Avenue. Also, our B Street Smart Glendale campaign is in full swing. It is a citywide effort to make our streets safe for all road users, pedestrians, motorists, and bicyclists. Visit bstreetsmartglendale.com for more information and join the Billion Step Challenge. Last but certainly not least, we want to make sure you are up to date on the latest changes to the Glendale College and Glendale School Board 2017 elections. They will now be holding elections for seats representing specific geographic areas. This will go into effect for the April 2017 elections. It's important to note that this change only applies to Glendale Unified School District and Glendale Community College District elections. You can learn more by visiting glendalevotes.com. On that note, that's all for now, folks. For more news, visit www.myglendalecitynews.com. As always, be sure to follow us on social media at MyGlendale. I'm Trevor Gould, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.